Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we're going to be making this mesh like material, almost like fabric. And I did not create it, but I've seen it in a few places online. I think it's pretty cool and we're going to be doing something with it much later on today, just the mesh. So let's get started. We're going to start off with this box. Whoa, huge. The dimensions are actually going to be a little bit smaller. So it's going to be 0.8 right there. And 0.8 as well. Let's see where did it go. 0.8. Oh, weird. Let's get rid of that right there. Let's try it again. 0.8. All right, so what we're creating now is the pillar. The height, I'm going to drop it down over here so we can zoom in. The height's going to be 2. So I'm just going to enter 2. There we go. We have the beginning of the pillar and that's that one right there. Okay. So I'm going to drag this over here and I need you to pay attention to this part because in order for this to work, it has to be exact. You cannot just guess at this. It has to be exact. So I'm going to change this over here to, uh, let's just say 0.1 just so we can make our movements a little easier. So I'm going to duplicate this, which is control D. And then I'm going to hit the shift button. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to drag it over here. And you see that number at the bottom? It says 1.2, 1.3. I'm going to click on that and make it 4.2. That is the exact distance they need to be from each other. However, I'm going to select both of them again and control D. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Can you guess what the distance is going to be? 4.2. Wow, you guys are geniuses right there. Look at that. Okay, so we got that part down. This and this, we're creating this one right here on the top. Now we're gonna do the same thing only, let me just drag, I'm gonna duplicate this one because I don't wanna drag this huge cube over here in this little small space that we're using. I'm gonna tip this over and make sure it's touching the ground. I clicked the letter D by the way to make it make sure it's touching the ground. Okay, so this is 0.8 and the height should be 0.8 which is great, but this one should be five. There we go. Now, let me drag this over here. Oh, because we're working so with such small uh, pieces, it's hard to drag when you're zooming in here. All right, so I'm gonna make this a little bit easier by selecting these four and grouping them, Control G. Okay, now this is gonna be a little easier to work with. I'm gonna select those two right there, which, you know, selects everything. Now I'm going to click the letter L. And what I want is I want this to be standing still and this one to move. So I'm going to click on here one time. Then I'm going to click this one in the corner here and look at that. Look at that. Now, this should not be sticking out. So I'm going to click here and it should be perfectly aligned, right? Yep, we're good. I'm going to click away. I'm going to duplicate this one here, Control D. I'm going to shift and can you guess the number we're going to use again? That's right. 4.2. And that should be there. Okay. We're good. Now we're going to have this same block or this one. It doesn't matter which one. We're going to move it to the top of, you know, these little pillars. So, oh, so hard to focus on here. There you go. That's better. All right. So I'm going to duplicate this one. Control D. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I have this selected. I'm going to hit shift and select this one, which selects all the pillars. And I'm going to click the letter L. I don't want these pillars to move, so I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to click on this one right there. Do you see that? That's the one I want. That's one. Now it's aligned. Now I'm going to hit this one so it can be centered between these two. And now I'm going to want it to be at the top. Notice which ones I'm clicking on because it's very important when you're doing yours. Okay, got what I wanted now. This one, I'm going to duplicate and move it one more time. 4.2. Wow, you guys are really good at guessing this one. Okay, whoa. Zoomed very far away. All right, so what would be the easiest way to do this one? I want, I'm want. i trying to get the center one here. So I think the easiest way to do that is to duplicate this one. I'm just going to move it over here. I don't... I don't really think that's centered, but it could be. I'm going to click the letter D so we can go straight down. Look, I'm going to click the letter D, go straight down. Now, I want to make sure that this one is centered to this 
uh, little part right here. So I'm going to select these two. I know it's so hard to see. There you go, right there. I'm selecting those two right there. Now I'm going to click the letter L. I don't want this one over here to move, so I'm going to click here. And then now it is perfectly centered. Okay, we're almost done with this section. This one right here is a little bit different from any other of these little blocks here. So I'm going to just duplicate one. I could have chosen any. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to duplicate this, Control D, and then I'm going to rotate it. Um, let's see. Yeah, this one is already selected, right? Now I'm going to select this one right here. This one that's going over here. I'm going to hit Shift, click. I have those two selected. It makes a little cross. I'm going to click the letter L. And I don't want this one to move, so I'm going to click on it. Now I want it to be right there. Perfect. And is it centered because it's gray in the center? That means it is perfectly centered. We're good to go. However, now the difference that I was telling you earlier, this one here is actually not 0.8. It is 0.6. We don't want it to go down. So we're going to go, we're going to tilt this and try to click on that little box right there. It's going to be 0.6. And we have now finished. <laughs> so easy to move away from it. Okay. So we have finished that part right there. Okay. So we're good. I'm going to duplicate this because this and this are very much alike. Oh my goodness. So hard to manipulate when they're this small. Okay. I'm going to duplicate this. Control D. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to hit shift and then the arrow key to move it over. Great. Now, I'm going to change it to blue just to remind myself which section we're working on. Great. Now the difference is, let's see if we can get this to be focused. This blue section is going to be higher just by a little bit, 0.2 technically. Okay, so I'm going to try the pillars first. All the pillars, they're all the same height, right? Their point, are they the same height? Let me just make sure. Yeah. But we're going to move them up a little bit. First, actually, let's start with this one right here. Instead of the point being 0 0.6, it's going to be 0 0.8. We're talking about the center. Now, this one, instead of being 0 0.8, we're going to click and make it 1. That height's good. This one over here, same thing. We're going to click on it, and it's going to be 1. Enter. We are done with those two. We essentially have the basic building blocks of the mesh. We just need to make sure it fits perfectly. Now, this is the way you do this. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way. And that little note can go over there. Whew. Pay attention to this. Pay attention. Okay. Major step right here. On the snap grid, click 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Now we haven't done this yet, but hopefully you know how to do this. Uh, let's see right there. No, I got to rotate one of these. Which one do I rotate? Sorry guys, it's a little hard to see from this angle. Does the, let's look at how it is here. Is this one rotated to that way? I'm trying to see what it is. Let's move it over here. Maybe it'll be better to see. F. Okay. So let's make that a solid so I can see it better. Okay. There it is. Now we want, I'm going to drag this over here. This one is going to be right here, but it, it has to work perfectly. Otherwise, if you don't do this part correctly, when you print these, they will be print they will be printed together. You won't be able to move it. It won't be flexible. It will be perfectly stiff. So we have this one selected. I'm going to click on the letter W and I'm going to select this bar right here, the side of the bar, not the top, the side. Look, W. Now, mind you, see, this is what it does. I want it to be on that bar. Now, D. Perfect. I'm going to click W again, click the ground. Now, I'm going to click on this side right here, not the top, but on the side. Letter D. Oh, we got the wrong section. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? No. Let me undo this. 
Okay, instead of this side, I'm gonna go with this one over here. See, see if I can. Uh, I'm gonna click the ground first. Sorry, I move this over. Now, mind you, it's still touching this side, which is what I want. I just want to be able to see this side right there. Okay, W and D. Okay, now I'm gonna click W again and click here on the side. Okay, we are almost there, people. We're almost there. Okay, so now I'm gonna, again, I have this at 0.25. I'm gonna use my arrow key and move this up one time with the arrow key. Now I'm gonna move it to the right one time with the arrow key. This now is perfectly aligned, okay? These right here are perfectly aligned, which means they, will, they are less likely to get stuck when you're printing them. Now, what am I gonna do? Oh, I need a copy of this to be on this side. So I'm gonna duplicate this, Control D. I'm gonna hold the Shift and then uh, use the arrow key to move it over. Okay, so now that I'm gonna let go of the arrow key or the shift key and I'm gonna just use the arrows. This should be exact. However, very important, very important that you keep this clicked or uh, selected because now if you did this correctly, it'll make a copy at the exact location it should be. So I'm gonna do 10 of these right now. I have two, then Control D, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, because we measured it carefully, it should be exact. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time with the red section. Okay, this one. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna do, use the arrow key and hold, I'm gonna hold down the shift as well. And it's going to go past it. That's fine. But look, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And let's take a look. How's the distance? It's looking good over here, over here, over here. Okay. Nailed it. Now we keep on duplicating until it gets over here. Okay. So now here's the test. If I measured all of these correctly, this one should be measured. It should be in the exact center of that square. Okay. And it looks great. If for some reason this were really close to here, or maybe this section here was touching that one, that means you did it incorrectly. You weren't exact in your measurements and that's not cool because it's going to make it uh, not flexible. It won't be like material. And Essentially, at this point, you can do this. You can select those two chains that you've created and duplicate it and move it up. I'm holding the shift button in case you're wondering. I went past it. Now I'm going to go back five. Let's see if this works. One, two, three, four, five. At this point, you could just continue. Control D. And you have your shift. Now remember, Tinkercad at this point in the software can pretty much only handle 10 by 10 when you try to export it. If you do any more, it may not export. So don't forget to like and, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.